Being an unpredictable player is probably one of the most valuable skills you can possess as a footballer. Not only does this put you and your teammates in a better spot to succeed in the attack and score a goal or win a 1v1, but it can also be a defensive weapon if utilized properly. So no matter what position you're playing, you can always benefit from being unpredictable. And that, my friend, can happen both with and without the ball. Now the question is, how can that happen? Apart from all the mainstream ways other coaches or YouTubers like to promote, like flashy football skills and body feints, which don't get me wrong, are super effective, I would also like to add another way of fooling your opponents, and that is something that I like to call a verbal feint or a fake call. Now what are fake calls or verbal feints? We're basically talking about intentional use of misinformation. You're giving away fake information through verbal communication in order to mislead your opponent and have them commit a wrong decision or action. I know this may sound strange at first, but trust me, if you get the hang of it, it can absolutely change your game for the better. You see, small details like these can win you battles, space, possession, or even valuable milliseconds you can use to optimize your next action. Now, everything sounds fantastic in theory, but how do you apply this in game you might ask? The truth is that it is pretty simple and straightforward, especially if you use this three step process I'm gonna share with you in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is to get a piece of paper and start writing down all the game scenarios both with and without the ball where verbal communication has an impact on the outcome of the play. Now that you've got all those common gameplays written down, I want you to come up with simple phrases of fake info you can use against your opponents in those exact game scenarios create the solutions you want and lead them to commit mistakes. It can be as simple as shouting the wrong direction or command to a teammate or as complex as using fake calls in combination with other ways to fool your opponent. There is truly no need to overcomplicate it though. For example, a central defender or midfielder may find himself in a 1v1 scenario where he wants to pass the ball towards a teammate, but the opponent is blocking the passing pathway. What you can do in that instance is shout and point or dribble towards the opposite territory direction so you can drag the opponent valuable meters or even centimeters and free up that pathway for the pass. Another great example where you don't even need to be in possession of the ball is what I like to call passive defending. You can apply this whenever an opponent is receiving the ball and trying to turn with no man marking his back. In order to prevent him from turning and facing the goal, what you can do as a defender is shout, don't let him turn, press his back, stay tight. Even if no one is marking that player, he will most probably believe that he isn't able to turn because someone is quote unquote marking him tightly. In reality, that player didn't get fooled by you but by his own brain. In fact, there is a quote I would like to share with you that goes by, don't ever let your ears hear what your eyes didn't see. What this basically means is that you can never be 100% sure about something without seeing it first. Unfortunately, this can't be always applied in football where limitations in space and time force a faster decision-making process and sometimes require you to rely on verbal information. Having said that, this isn't always bad. You see, if you know how to use your communication both as a tool and as a weapon, you can really get closer to becoming a master level player. And finally, step number three is all about applying and executing. What you want to do is start using those key phrases, aka the fake calls and real game situations. Team training is obviously the best place to start ingraining a new habit like this and ultimately let it become a part of your gameplay. These can really make a difference and either help you or your teammates get out of tight situations. The only issue that I see with them though is that they can confuse your teammates and also lead them to the wrong commands you're giving away. This of course is something you want to avoid at all costs. Let your teammates know what your intentions are and try to cooperate with them at practice so you can achieve a, a great result together. Now if you found that this video made you a smarter player, I'm sure that this video right here will help you even more.